Hello, 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 and welcome to my YouTube channel. It is I, your favorite alchemist, the alchemy goddess. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. You are greatly appreciated. Um, this is your daily tea and tarot for Tuesday, December the 8th, 2020. Y'all know I'm horrible with dates. Um, I don't keep up too well, but it is Tuesday. It's the day of Mars. The energy in the atmosphere is all about action. It's all about passion and just being you know, getting that light in you, just that fire in you, just ignite it, right? That's the energy for today. Great day to start a workout that you've been meaning to start. Great day to, um, you know, get a project off the ground. It's, it's, it's the great the great energy and the atmosphere to basically put forth action towards the things that you really want or the things you desire or the things you're just passionate about. Um, I did do the Daily Tea and Tarot yesterday live, but for some reason it took the whole day for the video to upload. Like, I woke up at like four this morning and it was finally uploaded, like, or something like that, or like something late last night, something like that. So I have to figure out exactly how I'm going to maneuver this whole live daily tea thing, but I just haven't had the time really to do it. I've been extremely tired. I don't know what it is in the atmosphere. I just don't know, but I've been really tired lately. And I know that we had the eclipse energy that's still in the atmosphere and everything like that, which is probably the cause of it, but I'm just exhausted, y'all. So I am going to do... Pisces and Pisces Aries and possibly Aries today um, to get those readings done. And um, I'm actually, you know, doing some other things behind the scenes. I have a lot that I'm working on behind the scenes. So please bear with me while I get these zodiacs out for the month. However, um, again, I'm going to do Pisces, Pisces Aries cusp and possibly Aries today. Okay, but let's get started because I was meditating prior to this and... I was get I'm I'm doing like a love heart healing heart chakra type of meditation, right? And a lot of what I was hearing was about self-love, you know, putting yourself understanding your self-worth and falling in love with yourself on a deeper level so that you don't allow certain things in your life to keep you at a low frequency. For example, you know, the thing with love is that we don't we don't know how to love. A lot of us don't know how to love. You know, love is not attachment and attachment is not love. You cannot associate the two because when you love something, you let it go. It's free, you know. So my whole focus is just to allow love into my heart, allow my mind to be free and allow my soul to love. So it's not on a physical level. It's on a spiritual, you know, in the fifth dimension type of thing. You get what I'm saying? So anyway, um, it's all about passion today. So this is why I'm expressing these things. You know, let's see what energy we have in the atmosphere. Let's see what messages spirit would like to share with us. I hope everyone's enjoying their week thus far, getting ready for the holy days. I call it holy days because... It's about the energy for me. Y'all know, you know, it's the end of 2020. It's the end of, you know, a lot of things in our lives, a lot of transitions, transformations taking place right now. Change is definitely on the horizon. So y'all know, we're going to get some, we're going to get some cards on the table. Y'all tired of hearing me chat, chat, chat. Let's get some cards. Okay. All right. Spirit, any messages for today, Tuesday, December the 8th, 2020? you have any messages for us Ooh, you do okay so we have wands right off the bat eight of wands and the knight of wands hmm interesting energy because it is the day of mars you know it's the day of action and passion and that's what you know wands is all about and then of course the aries card with the magician here i kind of feel like from what i'm getting so far somebody is like manifesting something and they're taking action on it i think they're taking different action I do. I feel like there's a lot of change and a lot of things coming at them. Spirit, any messages? Any more messages for today? Yeah, wands again. Nine of wands. Someone may be tired of going over the same thing. And a seven of wands, y'all. Fire all across the board this morning. Bottom of the deck is the queen of pentacles, though. So this can resonate with some earth signs. Virgo, Cap, Taurus. Also, if you have Virgo, Cap, Taurus in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, this may resonate with you today as well. But... It's about action. It's about getting something done. Tired of going over the same thing. I feel like someone is like, you know, they got their guard up a little bit with the seven of wands. Almost like, you know, I'm not going to say cocky, but I'm going to say like triumphant. Like I feel triumphant with that seven of wands. Like I know my worth. You know, I'm like, I know what I'm worth. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just what I'm getting. Like 
Someone is protecting themselves. Someone is protecting their energy. Hold on, I gotta get the card. Someone is protecting their energy. When I see this nine of wands, that's what I think. You know, she's protecting herself from magic. I feel like she's protecting herself from, you know, repeating cycles, doing the same things over and over again. Those are spiders. Those are spiders inside of there. She's protecting herself. Mm. And I just had like literally a, like my brain just like stops. Like what is the meaning of spiders? Like what's the symbolic meaning of spiders? Because that's important here. I feel like protection. I feel like from what I know from spiders, usually they are our ancestors, you know, like they protect us. They're good luck, you know, they're definitely good luck. But I feel like in this sense, the spiders are crawling over the star. I forget what the, what this is called, but I know it's Wiccan, right? They're they're protecting. She's protecting herself. She's got her wands around her. You know, she's protecting herself from this. It's almost as if it's almost as if she keeps going through the same thing, and she's stopping herself from the good things. Like that's what I get. Like because that's how I feel about the spiders. Like she's not just protecting herself. But she's stopping herself. Like, she's doing the same thing over and over again. When are you going to get off this cycle so you can let some good come in? You know, that's that's just what I feel. I do. And I feel like someone may be taking some much-needed action towards this, towards something they've been manifesting. Could be an Aries. Could be. But we're going to get some clarity because this ain't enough, right, y'all? This ain't enough. We need some clarity on the table. It's all wands, though. That's bananas, y'all. That's bananas. Fire energy strong to that Leo Sag Aries, okay? I feel like, you know, with fire energy, it's fun, it's passionate. It is Mars Day, but you get what I'm saying. It's all about how you move. You know, it's the, the, the movements that you make. Okay, let's get these cards cut. Okay, Spirit, please clarify the Eight of Wands energy. Spirit, please clarify. Eight of Wands, Queen of Cups, Page of, page of Wands. Hmm. Spirit, please clarify this Eight of Wands energy. Spirit, please clarify this Eight of Wands energy. Okay, we'll take them both. Yep, Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups. Hmm. Someone's got a lot coming at them. It's a lot happening right now. It's a lot going on. There's feelings involved. Water energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Again, fire energy with the Queen of Wands as well. Leo, Sag, Aries. It's almost as if someone's ready to move forward into this new love. Someone's ready, like... I feel like someone wants to offer their their heart. That's that's the plan, right? That's the 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 project. This is could this could be something that they've been manifesting, giving their love to something cuz they care a lot, you know? And I feel like again, it's about a new beginning of love. Like someone is getting another chance at it. Someone's getting another chance. It's just it seems like there's a lot going on. And someone could be waiting for some kind of message to receive some kind of message before they move towards this. Like, it almost as if someone is falling deeper in love with themselves. That's kind of what I'm getting. Like, they're falling deeper in love with themselves. Maybe to get out of this energy. You know, maybe to get out of this repetitive. Like, I'm ready to break a cycle. That's what I feel. Spirit, please clarify. We're not going to take them, Spirit. said no. Go back. Okay. Spirit, please clarify the Knight of Wands energy. Six of Swords, I'm telling you. Someone is taking action to move forward and leave things in the past. Spirit, please clarify the Knight of Wands energy. Yep, investing in themselves. Nine of Pentacles. Cause I feel like they've like they've they're pulling they're pulling all their good stuff away. Like they're taking it. You see how she's back here looking at the tree and she's like, what happened to the pentacles? She's like, I got it. I took it away. It was me that grew it, so I took it away. You know? Spirit, please clarify. Five of Wands, very conflicted. Mm. Spirit, please clarify the Knight of Wands energy. Nine of Wands. I'm telling you, 
someone is so tired they're so conflicted and they're tired of going over the same thing over again so they're taking different actions like i'm tired of arguing i'm tired of going through this i'm tired of always being def defensive you remember what i told you i'm better than this that's what the seven of wands makes you feel like i'm better than this like he or she is moving forward and leaving a lot in the past a lot of thoughts i feel like also they know that they need to move forward until things calm down okay taking what they've invested and giving it back to themselves like i'm not going to invest this in you anymore all we do is argue we're just always i'm I like there's always some kind of conflict disagreement or whatever the case may be and i'm tired of the back and forth you know i'm this is it's time for this war to end it's time for this battle to end and yeah i'm a little bruised and scarred but you know even though i may be a little bruised and scarred i learned a lot you know, I learned a lot. Now, remember how I tell you, these are both the nine of wands. But look at the images. Look how different they are. You see what I mean? Like, this one's been through a battle, and he's scarred, and he's bruised. So he still may not know. You know, things may be unknown. But I feel like with the crescent moon up there, it's like something is being removed. You know, something's being taken away different different same cards different decks just look completely different right so here, please clarify the magician card confusion mm. illusions other options more options Spirit, please clarify the aries sorry and <laughs> clarify the moon <laughs> the magician i can't talk four cups mm. Spirit, please clarify the magician's energy today for us The Temperance and the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles. Now, someone's been manifesting, okay? I feel like someone's taking their power back because there's too much confusion with the situation, okay? I'm going to pull back because the emotions are too strong here. So, I'm going to pull away so I can see things better, you know? Pulling my love. Like, you don't want my love. That's what I kind of feel like. Like, someone is, like, pushing back, like... How can I say this? Like, you may be wanting to give love, but they may be, like, ref refusing your love, okay? And you just want to even give and take here. I want to pour into you. I want you to pour into me. You know, I got, you know, like, I want this. I want, you know, some kind of stable environment or situation. And I feel like someone also brings that with them. Like, they bring good news or some kind of good fortune with them. And I, I don't know, I just kind of feel like someone is just like, I'm trying to manifest things here. Like, I got other things. Like, I'm manifesting things. And I just want you to pour into me as like I pour into you. But you know what? Let me move on. You know, let me move forward. Because this, this plan ain't working. Like, I just kind of feel like that. Spirit, please clarify the Nine of Wands energy. Spirit, please clarify the Nine of Wands energy. Hermit, Virgo energy. Someone's definitely pulling back. Spirit... Mm. lover's card gemini energy okay so maybe maybe someone's tired and they're protecting themselves you know like i want real love i kind of feel that like i want real love you know remember i told you this nine of wands makes me feel like she is protecting herself she's tired of going back and forth but she's also protecting herself what she thinks she's doing is protecting herself but she's keeping herself from the good too you know and i feel like that you know she's going to do some soul searching he or she i just use she because she's on the card but they're going to do some soul searching all right it's about definitely this 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 change with love that needs to happen like something needs to change with this you know could be twin flame energy spirit please clarify the nine of wands energy seven of pentacles and the magician again, I'm telling you, she's manifesting differently. This ain't working the way I wanted it to. This isn't growing. Like, I'm not, I'm, I'm getting real impatient here, right? Like, I, I'm getting real impatient because change needs to happen with this love connection. Spirit, please clarify the seven of wands, the, the world card. Listen, it's the end of a season. Like, she's on her shit right now. He or she, that's a he in the picture. He or she is like, I know my worth. I'm ending this. Like, this is time for the season to come to an end. It's time for a new season, right? Knight of Wands. I'm telling you, she's taking different approaches. She's She knows she could be a fire sign. Leo Sag Aries. She knows she's a bad mamma jamma. And she's just going to take herself. She's going to make different. She's going to make different movements going forward. Just put it that way. Spirit, please clarify the seven of wands energy. Again, she's looking. She discovered something. She's discovered something. She's moving beyond this situation Two, I feel two people involved. Definitely. A, 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 it could be a love connection. A very passionate one, too. Spirit, 
Please clarify the Seven of Wands energy with the Seven of Wands. I'll be damned. She knows her words. She moving forward. Six of Wands. Girl, God, listen. Moving forward. Progress. I need forward progressive movement, okay? She's got her guard up. He's got his guard up. I deserve better than this. You know, I'm moving past this season. I'm ending this season. I'm taking different actions going forward. I've discovered something within myself about this this change with this love connection or with this connection that needs to happen. Again, I will triumph. You will not defeat me. That's the vibe I'm getting. You can't win. You cannot win. That's how I feel. You won't win. You won't defeat me. You won't bring me down. You won't bring my level down. You won't bring my frequency down. Like, she's just like, I'm. she's on her shit, y'all. And excuse my language for those who are watching you under the age of 18. I know I have a few viewers who do watch under the age of 18. So excuse my language. I try not to cuss a lot. But sometimes it needs a cuss. And remember, the only true curses we can do is curse ourselves by the way we speak on ourselves, the way we treat ourselves. Those are the real curses, my love. Okay? Those are the real curses. I'm going to get one more shuffle. And let's cut the deck. All right. Spirit, please confirm the Eight of Wands energy. Queen of Wands again. We got the Queen of Wands twice over here, y'all. So definitely can resonate with some fire signs. Leo, Sag, Aries. Okay? Got the twice. I feel like she's about love. She's about self-love. Like she's she's got she's divinely guided and protected, first and foremost, right? And look at her. She's got the cat behind. She's got the cat down there. So I had a dream about cats. I had a dream about my cat Tinky last night. When I had when I was like, I had her when I was 15. I got her for my 15th birthday. She stumbled upon my porch. The first birthday that I had without my mother, my mother passed away when I was 14. So she was the cat that stumbled upon my porch after my mother passed away. I had a dream about her last night. So I don't know exactly what that means, but she's a black cat. I had a dream about her and my sister's cat, Tubby. My sister's cat's name was Tubby and mine was Tinky because Tinky was tiny and Tubby was fat. So <laughs> it was Tubby and Tinky. But anyway, um, yeah, the cat's there again. You know, I see the cat. There she goes again. This, this woman is divinely protected. Like, can nobody F with what she's doing? Nobody can F with what she's doing, okay? Spirit, please clarify the Eight of Wands. Page of Cups. I feel like a change of feelings. Like, I feel like... Mm, Nine of Pentacles. Spirit, please clarify. Ooh, it's about a king. Let me tell you something. Someone has these really strong feelings. I feel like with the Queen of Wands, that's how she was. You know, I feel like she had a lot of strong feelings, you know? And I feel like she's onto something new now where her feelings are changing. They're not as strong as they used to be. I still care about you, but I'm not I'm not offering my cup so much as I'm offering it to myself. You know, cuz I'm going to invest in myself. You know, I'm going to invest in myself. I feel like they want to be selfish. Again, Virgo Cap Taurus energy with the King of Pentacles. Like, they're being a little selfish right now, worried about themselves. Like, the energy they give, what they receive from others, that's what. That's the only thing they're worried about. If you're not giving me what I'm giving you, I'm not giving it to you no more. Like, love is, is about detachment. Detach yourself from what you love because you want it to be free. OK, and I feel like she's putting that love into herself. Like it may seem a little selfish, but she's investing a lot in herself right now. You know, some of you could be this could be about a father energy. Again, baby father, your father, grandfather, a male figure in your life who's, you know, who is a provider, a male figure in your life who or not male, but a masculine figure who's a provider, someone who always has their ish in order. I feel like. Like, like some of us, this is involving that kind of person. But for others, it's more about you investing in yourself and being a little selfish right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because the feelings are changing. Spirit, please confirm the Knight of Wands energy. Star card. I can't make this up. And then I'm going to grab this one too because it came out when I pulled it. That's the Eight of Wands again. Okay? She or he is so like, I'm moving on. I'm making different changes. I want my dreams to come true. It's a lot going on. You know what I'm saying? But I'm trying to move past this. The Eight of Wands energy has been really strong for like the past couple of weeks. And I feel like with the Eight of Wands, it's about forward movement. You know, I'm, I, I'm ready. I'm ready. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm so ready. And it's not about even having a crowd. This is forward movement alone. Like, I don't need you. I'm going to fulfill my dreams and my destiny regardless. You know? I'm going to get there regardless. Spirit, please clarify. I'm sorry. Please confirm the Knight of Wands energy. Four of Cups. I'm telling you. Somebody's, like, taking their love back. Somebody's like, I'm not, like, no more offers of love here. You know? Like, no more. Spirit, please confirm the Knight of Wands energy. Spirit, please confirm the Knight of Wands energy. With the Seven of Cups, I told you she's confused or he's confused. I've got more options. Like, I'm daydreaming. I spend a lot of time daydreaming. You know, um, I'm going to invest in myself. I'm tired of the conflict. I want my dreams to come true. You know, I know that I, and I have forward movement. Maybe this is going to be a solo forward movement, but I offered my cup to you. You refused my cup. You know, I'm tired of offering my cup. You know, and then the seven of cups is like, I got other options. There are more things, more important things that I could be doing. There are more important things, you know, that I could be manifesting and you're too confusing. So again, like I said, the seven of cups is here, but the seven of cups is also here. Okay. So he or she definitely is seeking other options, like weighing their options. I feel like, or at least removing themselves. From the emotions. Like, I'm not, I, like, and I promise you, this is how it goes. Like, these, this is how I know that these messages are direct. These are the same cards, different decks. Four of cups, seven of cups. Same cards, different decks. Or both came out. Okay? Someone is just like, they don't want that offer. They're not accepting your offer. Okay? They're not. So, don't make it about you, though. Like, you know what I'm saying? Don't make it about you, though. Okay? Remove yourself from the emotional aspect of the situation. That's so important. Remove yourself from the emotion so you can see clearer. Because from what I'm feeling like is it's time for forward movement. Spirit, please confirm the magician's energy. Spirit, please confirm the magician's energy. Magician is the two of cups. I'm telling you, somebody is manifesting this love, okay? They're manifesting being closer to somebody. And unfortunately, unfortunately they may walk away to get closer. Spirit, please confirm... The magician's energy. Right. They're tired of the... They're very conflicted about it. They're tired of the conflict. Spirit, please confirm the magician's energy. What is this conflict about? With this queen of swords. Putting things into perspective. I told you. They want to be closer, but they realize right now you're not taking their cup. Like, I'm trying to pour my cup into you. Would you pour it into me? Okay, fine. I'm going to move forward. You know, I'm going to move forward, though, because I'm tired of the conflict. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of arguing. I'm going to start to put things into perspective. And I'm going to start to see things clearer. Some of you could be dealing with an air sign. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Spirit, please confirm. Hermit energy. I'm telling you, someone's going to just, like, disconnect. They're in solitude. Maybe even a little isolated. Worried about themselves big time. Like, they're just doing some soul searching right now. Okay? Spirit, please confirm. The Nine of Wands energy. Spirit, please confirm the Nine of Wands energy for us today. Page of Pentacles. Somebody's definitely moving forward with a new plan. King of Cups. There could be a there could be someone in the picture. You know, there could definitely be someone in the picture. Moon. And the Knight of Wands. So this they, they this relationship or this love connection, someone, this there needs to be a change. And they know that. So they're manifesting that. Like, I own my power. I'm, I'm like, there's a lot of repetitive cards. We have the magician, the hermit, the nine of wands. We have the five of wands, the seven of cups, the four of cups, the eight of wands. We have a lot of repetitive cards. The nine of pentacles, the queen of wands, a lot of repeated cards. And furthermore, I think this is the third time. Yep. The third time this card has come out, the knight of wands. It's all about taking different approaches. Like, you know, you are powerful. You have this energy to make this change happen, right? So when do you, you know, implement the plan. That's what I feel like. It's a good plan. It's a good plan. I kind of feel like with the king of cups, some of us could be dealing with a water sign, but for most of us, it's about change. It's like an up and down change. I feel like someone also adores you. I get that too. Like, it's like implement the plan because they, they adore you. Everything is not what it seems. Okay, they adore you, but you got to take different actions if you want this change to happen with this love connection. Spirit, okay, right. Now, <laughs> see, 
Remember I told you, this person is starting to see things differently, okay? I said that they're standing their ground. Like, I'm not going to accept less than I deserve. I'm ending this cycle. I'm tired of this. I'm taking different actions. I discovered something within myself, you know, and I'm not going to lose this. I told you, Ace of Wands. I mean, Ace of Swords. That energy is strong. They're seeing everything different. You're probably seeing your partner different or whoever this person is about differently. You still love them. You know what I'm saying? Like, the love is still very much there. Spirit. Mm, but you need a new beginning, baby. I need a new beginning. I'm planting a seed right now. Things have to change. Like, we're going to wipe clear everything that happened, and we starting off fresh again. Spirit, please confirm the Seven of Wands energy. Page of Wands, I'm telling you, new beginnings. New beginnings. Burdens. Let go of this burden. Forward movement and progress. Let go of the burden. Now, let's get some oracles on the table. I don't usually mean to do a half hour reading, but it turns into that. Maybe I'll shorten it. You guys comment and let me know if you want me to shorten the um the readings to like 15 minutes, you know? Or if you like, you could donate, you know, I'll leave my cash app information and everything down below. You could donate to let me know that you appreciate it and you want them to keep coming, you know, as at the 30 minutes. If not, you know, comment, let me know if you think it's too long. Because I do be giving away a lot of my time <laughs> for free, but... You know, spirit moves me, so. And spirit just said, don't worry, just keep working. All right. <laughs> okay, spirit. So let's get these cards cut. And let's get some confirmation from Oracle. Spirit. Spirit, please confirm the Eight of Wands energy. Mm, I don't want to mess up my cards. I feel like I'm going to mess them up shuffling them like this. I was shuffling like this yesterday. So I try to be gentle with them because I don't want to mess them up. They're so pretty. <laughs> One of my clients ordered me some um, twin flame oracle messages. Baby, I can't wait for them cards to get here. I think her name is Kayet. One of my clients, Kayet. Anyway, Spirit, please confirm the Eight of Wands energy. I'm going to take it, baby. Release. <laughs> Release. This is your twin flame, okay? Release them. Because right now, I feel like you're not going to ever get, you're not going to get what you want. Be selfish. This is a twin flame, though. So if any of you were wondering, was this my twin flame? They are your twin flame, okay? Definitely. You both have awakened something in one another. And if you haven't, you will. Spirit, please confirm. Mm, numbing. I feel like, with the numbing card, they could be numbing their feelings for you. And this is why you need to move on. This is why you need to release. Because they won't acknowledge it. They won't acknowledge it. And they feel it, but they're numbing it. Spirit, please confirm the Knight of Wands energy for us today. What is that? Fear and family. Someone is afraid. Someone has much fear. A lot. Spirit, please confirm the Knight of Wands energy. The answer is yes. I don't know what the question was. But um, I feel like someone is afraid. Something to do with family. Something to do with family. Almost as if you're afraid that if you move forward, you'll lose something. But I'm telling you, you won't. Like, this is like fear. I'm afraid, okay? I'm afraid because I don't want to lose my family. But I feel like the answer that you're seeking is yes. Like, I feel like for some of you... You want to know if you'll regret something. Well, like almost if, will I regret, well, I regret letting go. Well, I regret walking away. Because I don't, I don't really see walking away as much as I see detachment. Okay? Well, I regret detaching myself from this. Spirit, one more card, please. 
Please confirm the answer is yes. What is this energy about this night? Masculine, this is not for a feminist, for a masculine. So my thing is, in, in, in this twin flame connection, let me clarify that, okay? In this twin flame connection, this message is for the masculine. Masculine, will you regret this? Will you regret letting this energy leave? Will you regret this? Yes, you will. You will. Because something tells me that this is deeper. Family energy makes you feel like this is your soul tribe. Masculine energy, okay? Spirit, please confirm the magician's energy. Mute. Stop speaking. Stop talking. Stop showing yourself. Spirit, please confirm the magician's energy. Reinvention. Nostalgia. Mm. You're holding on to the past. You are. And here, here's the thing. This situation is not going to go anywhere. And when I say anywhere, it's not going to go anywhere until you let go. The nostalgia energy is strong. You're holding on real tight. You know, you really do have to put things into perspective. I feel like someone isn't communicating or showing their true colors or showing their true selves. So it's going to be best for you to let go. You know, you need to let go. Why? Because it, the way it is, is, is not the way it should be. Someone definitely is in the process of reinventing themselves. And I feel like you should honor that by letting go. Because if not, you'll be the one that's hurt. Spirit, please confirm the nine of wands. Nine, nine of wands energy. I'm already at 31 minutes. Spirit, please confirm the nine, nine of wands energy. Surrender. I feel like that's what they're going to come back as. If you let go, they're going to surrender themselves to you. Spirit, please confirm. But they have free will. They're going to do whatever they please. Whatever they please. Balancing the scales, but they will make it right. So eventually they will. That's what I get. Everything is not what it seems. Remember what I told you? This one really cares about you, but your actions moving forward should be different. I feel like know your worth is really dominant because that's the page of Juan's energy. And the page and then follows the night. Like know your worth. You know what I'm saying? Know your worth because I feel like... There will be a time for surrender, okay? But like the free will is definitely in effect right now. People, they're doing exactly what they want to do, and there's nothing you can do to change that. But eventually, the scales will be balanced, okay? The scales will be balanced. Spirit, please confirm the Seven of Wands energy for us today. Tribe, I'm telling you, this is your soul tribe. Like, you don't have to worry about this. I promise you, you don't. But there is deception. You're not being told everything. You're not. Everything is being, a lot is being kept from you. And that's important for you to know. Spirit, final confirmation. Too many cards. Spirit, please confirm the Seven of Wands energy. Spirit, one more card. Thank you. Contemplation. I don't know if someone is trying to choose between you and someone else, but I get those summertime vibes again. That's when they'll be back, summertime. So let go because around summer they'll be back. But for now, I feel like soul tribe, this is definitely your soul tribe. Again, like I said, twin flame energy. Message for your masculine is you will regret if you do not. You will regret detaching from this individual. Absolutely. Um I feel like the whole mute in, the whole mute energy is about them not showing themselves, them not showing who they truly are. They have a lot they need to let go of, a lot of reinvention that needs to take place. Like I said, they will surrender to you, but it has to be their free will. This is all in divine timing, but the scales will be balanced. But like I said, soul tribe, there is deception. You don't know everything going on. And I think that this is why you need to let go. Because someone is contemplating possibly between you and someone else. You know what I'm saying? And if you continue to make yourself available to that, you know, it's not going to be good to you. The hurt in the process is not going to be good for you at all.
So definitely someone is seeing their worth, ready to move forward for for progress, you know. And I feel like you should. <laughs> All right, y'all. That's it for today's Daily Tea and Tarot for Tuesday, December the 8th, 2020. I hope you guys enjoyed. If this reading has resonated with you, please comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. If you're looking for a private, personal, more in-depth reading, you can always email me at theblackcosmicholdren at gmail.com. Or you can hit me up on Facebook or Instagram. Um, I'll leave all the links down below for you guys. And I'll catch up with you mañana. Um, I will be posting the Zodiac, some of the Zodiacs today. All right, you guys, as always, y'all know what it is. I ain't got nothing but love for y'all. Peace. <laughs>